Let's see. All right, hey guys. So, uh, is this recording? Yes, yes it is. Okay, so hey. So I uh, recently was inspired to make a custom StarCraft map, which is pretty cool. I haven't really dabbled into this since I was a teenager, like for real. And I, back then I never had any success, just tons of errors and problems. But this time, uh, I really finally got something, which is pretty cool. And it was an idea that I had a few years ago, but just never did it. I have a friend who... Um, he doesn't like RTS games. So I wanted to create a game where someone who doesn't like RTS games and someone who does can both play the same game and enjoy themselves. And I don't think this is the perfect thing I could have possibly made. Uh, perhaps if I made it in the Warcraft 3 editor I'd have a little more options, but all the same I think this is pretty cool and I think it'll be fun. So I just want to share how it works. So um, this is the map. Now I did not create this map. This was, um, well I should say I didn't create the terrain, right? I didn't create the terrain. The map I, and the triggers and all that, that was all me. But the uh, the terrain itself, this was from a an original Blizzard map. I'm not sure if it was from Brood War or the StarCraft, uh, the first, no, no, it was definitely Brood War because there's, you know, it's the snow. So yeah, I forgot what the map was called, but anyways, it kind of lends itself to this 2v2v2 thing that I wanted to do. and it. And the map really kind of mirrors itself pretty nicely. I did make some edits that are not present in this picture. For instance, I now I now have ramps uh, at all the at all the um, what do you want to call it? All the spots, all the tips now have ramps. So yeah, let's uh, just go over the premise. Like the premise is again, it's a two v two v two, and um, you and your teammate have different roles. One of you is the base builder this standard standard StarCraft gameplay with some restrictions and then there's the hero which is um, you know it's a very it's a much easier job to do someone who doesn't like RTS games could appreciate this if you like League of Legends and all that good stuff then you know it's, it should be more appealing so yeah you and your partner work, t work together and become stronger over time so Let's see, I got a little, just so I'm not jumbled and disorganized, I made a little notepad thing here. Um, yeah, so how do we level up? All right, so if you notice, I got these little numbers all over the place here. And these are like neutral camps. And uh, originally the idea was if you kill all the creatures, you level up. But that caused some problems. It might be possible now, after I've learned how to use the editor a bit more, but the current solution that I have is to destroy key buildings. So, if your hero kills a level 1 building, which is either here or here, right, you will level up. So your level 1 becomes level 2. Also, um, wait, wait, I don't want to jump. I don't want to jump. Um, yeah, so each, each number corresponds to a stronger camp and a bigger reward. So you kill one, you level up one. You kill two, you become level three, actually. Kill a three camp, you level up to four. And this is regardless of what level you currently are. So if by some miracle you're level one and you kill a level five, well, you level up to level six. Uh, this could be possible if you and your ally manage to work together and somehow make this happen. Who knows? I don't know. I haven't actually play tested this yet. So it's... Uh, it's definitely uncharted territory for how this is going to play out. But, um, yeah, that's how that works. Uh, if you notice, though, there's only one um, level 6 camp. Whoever gets this kill gets it, and you become the strongest character in the game. Uh, to compensate for that, though, no matter who kills it, um, everyone is, is gets a reward, and I'll, and I'll get into that. It's just a simple thing, and it, it deals with supply. So... Let me just get into that right now. So, like the base builder, he um, he can't build uh, uh, command centers or supply depots, right? Or obviously probes or pylons or drone. I'm sorry, not not probes and pylons. I'm sorry, nexus or pylons or and he can't build overlords. Let me uh, jump in here real quick. So, if you look in this base here, purple is the hero unit, and he's um, and the only building that is the base builders right now is the Nexus. 
So every time you kill a building, you're, re you're uh, rewarded a pylon. So this purple pylon becomes a red pylon, allowing the base builder to use it, and also increasing its supply. So the way the rewards work are if you kill a level 1 building, you are rewarded one pylon. And this is also true for level 2, which is this one down here. If you kill a level 2 camp, you are rewarded another pylon. It gets a little more as you go further. I really wanted to restrict supply, which is why I made it so uh, you know, stringent. This level 3 camp, if you kill that, I believe you are rewarded three pylons. And if you kill the level 4, you are rewarded four pylons. If you kill the level 5, you are rewarded five pylons. And this is true for no matter how many you kill. So if you um, somehow manage to kill all these, you will get all those rewards. So if you are really active on the map, you could perhaps deny your opponent the spawn or um, camps that they should be getting the, the rewards for. So that could be uh, that could be interesting. I haven't uh, put respawns on these, but I I'm really considering doing that. I just don't know how much it'll complicate things. Um, oh, did I mention this? Did I mention this thing? So no matter who kills the oh god, don't move that. Yeah, okay. No matter who kills this, you are re everyone is rewarded max supply. What the hell happened here? Did it just crash? Okay, cool. Good. I hope I saved that. Fuck me, dude. Are you kidding me? Um, I mean, I was... I'm kind of like a saving fiend, so I don't think I... I don't think I lost anything, because... But yeah, uh... Let's see. God damn it, I lost my whole train of thought now. What did I call this? Yeah. Okay. Um... What the? Oh yeah, so this thing. Yeah, you kill this, everyone's rewarded max supply. And I don't mean like you're, you literally are maxed. It's just that whatever your population is currently at, X out of whatever, it'll be X out of 200. Alright, um, but yeah, uh, the way you win this game is, uh, if, you, if you notice these flags up here, every time your hero dies, you lose a flag. And... If at uh, any point you don't have any more flags, well, you and your team may lose. And if your opponents don't have any, have any flags, then you win. And that's the game. It's pretty simple. Um, oh, one other thing I wanted to mention, too. Again, you can't make uh, depots or, um, or command centers. But if you notice again, this is the color purple. And if, you're, if you bring your hero to this pad, it will switch control to the base builder. So they will get to expand. So you gotta re rely on your hero to um, really help you progress. You can't just um, go macro mode and take over the map and all that. You know, you, you gotta you gotta work with your buddy. And I think that's about it. Um, yeah. Um, anything else? In my notes I wanted to mention. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Yeah. Just just um, some thoughts. If you have any suggestions, I mean. Oh boy. So like for instance, this uh these camps here, which are one, two, and three, these are of of course in a position where they cut off you and uh, your opponent. So um and it's so I imagine I'm gonna make this a very strong camp, a very tough camp to beat. Or at the very least this thing will have a lot of health. So it won't be easy to, you know, snipe and take out easily all on your own. You're gonna you're gonna have to need a, a decently sized army to do it. And I might need to fix this terrain here. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so that's that's the idea, though. Um, let me know what you think. Again, uh, what's currently up in the air is balance. I don't have a number set for any of the heroes and what would make sense. And I don't have a good idea yet of what I want the camps to be. I might make the camps uh, unique to whatever side you're, you are. For instance, a Protoss should perhaps uh, have a, a unique um, hurdle to overcome to get this, you know, like and Terran should have something unique to get through too because, you know, each race has their strengths and weaknesses and if it was the exact same hurdle to get over, then uh, then one race might have it easier than the other and we want to try to make it as fair as possible but anyways, that's the idea uh, let me know what you think